All right, let's follow up about weaknesses. And this is also internal. So this is about you. This is what's going on with you. So for instance, we look at this again as areas of improvement or opportunities for growth. And we're going to look at this and say, all right, well, here's an example. I'm just not good at asking people for the sale. I, I feel confident in my ability to train. I feel confident in my ability to assess. I feel confident in my ability to get people outcomes. What I'm not confident in is I just don't like asking people for money. All right. Well, that's something that you want. Area that you need to improve. That is your opportunity for growth. So therefore, you're going to work towards that, kind of put together strategies that will help you move from the weakness category into maybe just not a weakness, so it doesn't make the list, and then maybe eventually even move into the strength category, and that would be spectacular. What else? Well, I don't know how to market myself, or I don't know how to find new clients, or I don't know how to discuss nutrition with my clients. Uh, all of these though weaknesses are also opportunities for growth. They are areas of improvement. They are all things that you can take a course on, you can take a class on, that you have to practice with or without a course. But here's the thing. A lot of people throw money at courses and they say, hey, I've taken this course. I've read this course. Now that course will solve my problem. No, you still have to solve your problem. The course is just going to help you better be able to do that. But if you don't make application. If you don't actually take what you learned in the course and you say, you have to give me my artificial bravery because it's just that I'm scared to do something, you might know how to do it and still refuse to do it and it will continue to be a weakness. So what does that mean? It means that you have to put into practice what you already know to do.